Hi, I'm Terry Butcher. Watch my first interview on Hibernian TV. Terry, a warm welcome to Hibs. What's your initial impression of life here at the club? Oh, it's fantastic. It's buzzing. It's um, trying to find your office is a bit of a, an ordeal, and trying to find a way out is an ordeal, and trying to find a way back in is is, is a tough test as well. Um, I now know the the codes to get in, which is great. Um, but it's just brilliant. It really is. It's great to be here, and it's great to be at a training facility, especially that's uh, absolutely brilliant. So um, you can't wait to go out and train. And, you know, you're stepping out the door onto the training. Uh, areas and um, it's brilliant. It's really good. I mean, it's I sound like a uh, a young boy that's woken up on Christmas morning. You know, it's that's how you feel. You know, you've got a lot of goodies here and a lot of uh, uh, unknowns in terms of what the players can do. Um, but it's a great place to work. And when you're driving to work in the morning, so far the weather's been quite good. The wind's been getting up a fair bit, but it's been it's, it's been lovely. So uh, I'm looking forward to the frosts and the winter, but also looking forward to seeing these boys train and, and work hard. I see everyone's excited about your appointment here as the new first team manager. For the benefit of our viewers on Hibernian TV, what would you outline as being your vision for the future here at Hibs? How are you hoping to lead us into a new era? Well, I'm, I'm not just first team manager. I, I think when you look at um, the roles of, of managers now, but they're, they're more leaders of the club more than anything else. They don't manage the club, they lead it. Um, and when you've got leaders, you've got followers. And that's what we want with the players. You know, we want leaders on the pitch, of course, but. We want followers that are going to buy into what we uh, want, what, how we work, what our, our work ethic is and how our game plans are and all these kind of things. Um, and it's enjoyable, it's a bit of fun. Um, you can see the players um, you know, not quite sure what me and Morris are all about yet um, and they'll learn very, very quickly. But we like hard work, we like players to, to put their heart and soul into what they do on the training field, uh, in life in general, but particularly when they play football. Um, and it's, it is a start of a, hopefully a new era and it's a start of something special uh, and we want to make you know, coming to Hibs as a fan special too. Um, I know how much the Hibs fans are proud of their club uh, and I'm proud to be the manager uh, and we want to make the, the, you know, the players, you know, give the players back their pride as well by good performances on the pitch. That takes a bit of hard work to do, to do. but the players are with me on, on this I'm sure um, and you know, if they come along, which they, which they will do, then, then that's great. See, Morris Malpass appointed as assistant manager as well. How important was it to bring Morris to the club as well? Well, it's very important. Um, you know, I've said before that uh, our success at Motherwell uh, and at Cali Thistle was over four years in, uh, at each club, nearly five at Cali Thistle. Um, you know, we built teams up, we built the clubs up, and I think that's what we do. We, you know, it's not just the team; it's it's the whole structure around the team we put into into process or into uh, into effect um, a way of going about our business. Um, which works, um, and it's worked with, with Motherwell, it's worked with Cali Thistle, and we wanted to work with Hibs. And I think it, the partnership that we have is excellent, it's very strong uh, off the pitch as well as on it. Uh, and we make sure that uh, you know, we, we give our best, and uh, at the end of the day, we come away, we drive away from training or drive away from the, from the training ground, and we're pleased with what we've done. If we can say that, then uh, everybody's enjoyed it, everybody's done well, and the boys have worked hard. So it's just another step. Um, we've been here now two days, it's, it's another step. In the progress that we, you know, that we want to make, um, it's two steps along the road, um, and we want it to be a really long road. Um, and so it's early, early doors yet in, in many aspects, but it's been very, very pleasing. The warmth we've had, the welcome that we've had from everybody has been amazing, and we want that to continue. But you know, it all comes down to one thing, and that's progress on the pitch too. So your second day at the training in charge, um, what's your kind of initial impression of, of the squad, and, and how are you hoping to, to take things forward? Well, they're a hungry squad. I think they're, they're hurting as well, as I've said, and I think they're, they're, they don't like defeats. Um, and I think it's it, it, sometimes you've got to understand how you lose a game or why you lose a game, same as when you win a game, how you've won the game. So um, I think they understand now why they've lost games. We need, now need to teach them and show them how to win games and how um, to make it difficult for teams to beat us too as well. But um, yeah, I've been very pleased. I mean, the, the reaction we've had from the players has been great. And like I say, they don't really know what we're about as yet. They're finding it out probably the hard way, but they're working hard, very hard. I mean, the, the intensity of the training uh, the first day was, was immense. Um, one of the best for a long while, apparently, according to observers. And that's good because it, it gives us a, a good platform to work on and a good standard. You know, the standards have already been set high. The bar's been set high now um, initially. Um, and that's got to continue, if not get higher. And we keep on raising the bar all the time uh, with the players and with ourselves too. 
Uh, and that's what we want to do with this football club. You know, I've said that everybody at the football club has got to, to raise their game, whether they play, whether they're part of the playing squads or whether they have an input to the, to the, to the games or whether they uh, work in the offices or work uh, in the catering. And we've been asking you to raise your game as well, which is what we want. You know, it's, we don't want to be comfortable and just muddle along and continue. We want to be the best.